Most Hunter World Iceborne already had its last title update and so did Rise, and until 2025 and Most Hunter Wilds come around, we are out of luck, but not out of options. And I have something special for you, and our first challenge awaits us in the fury depths of the Elder's Recess. It is none other than the menacing Crimson Fatalis. Oh, that's scary, okay. A monster known for its relentless power and fury attacks. This Fatalis has been in every single Monster Hunter game except for the third one, and I'm very happy to see it in Monster Hunter World. They did it just especially with capturing how challenging this fight here should be, but I was still taking away the boring aspect from it. Okay, we got you another phase. As you can see, this Crimson Fatalis is no pushover. Its explosive breath attacks and devastating fireballs make it a true force to be reckoned with. It is worth mentioning that all monsters mentioned here today aren't just silly mock-ups so or slightly altered monsters, but completely new monsters with new movesets, lore and animations. Take down this Fury Behemoth in particular, I recommend using a fire resistant armor set along with a weapon that can do a lot of damage. Stay agile, watch for its stealth and aim for the chest or head for a quick kill. Our next challenger takes us to Castle Shrade, where we face off against another legendary Elder Dragon, the Lord of Disaster, White Fatalis, also known as Ancient or Old Fatalis. Oh! And arguably the most powerful Elder Dragon in the Monster Hunter universe so far. This monster was made by Monster Hunter Resurgence, the same team that made Prince of Fatalis, and they have a third monster that is completely new and will be on the honorable mentions later. This monster appeared for in Monster Hunter 2, Freedom 2, Freedom Unite, 4 Ultimate and Generations Ultimate. It also appeared as a G rank monster in Frontier Z. The White Fatalis is a master of both ranged and melee attacks, its electrifying strikes and powerful dragon element attacks made it a truly imposing oh, foe. Just like Prince of Fatalis, this mod comes with both a event difficulty and normal difficulty. And I highly recommend you only try the event difficulty if the normal one proves the series of a challenge for you. For the event difficulty is truly hard. Honorable mentions in here are Devil Rojang and Abio Gladius. They aren't as hard as the other two monsters mentioned here, but you surely pose a challenge when an interest in them. They are hard monsters and they bring a new experience to the game that I highly recommend. And the most powerful monster we haven't fought, our final showdown is the absolutely fearsome Devil Jin or Gigante. Oh, that hit me? Oh, that kills me. Devil Jin is a supernatural genetic abnormality found in people of the Hachijo bloodline from the Tekken games. This Nergigante is a force of nature, combining the ferocity of Nergigante with the dark power of the Devil Jin. What makes this monster so hard is probably its enormous range on the spike attacks and the sheer amount of speed it has. When facing your Devil Jin Nergigante, my recommendation is that you prioritize defense, using an armor that provides good resistance to all elements. Also, try to use weapons that deal raw damage. Watch out for its enhanced abilities, as it's faster and deadlier than anything you have ever faced. All more information can be found in the Nexus, and I see you guys in the next video.